welcome viewers in my channel physics made easy today we will study about the motion of center of mass previously we have discussed how to find center of mass of a body of discrete particles and of uniform continuous distribution of mass whether the mass is uniformly distributed or non uniformly if you want to see i will give the description in this video today we will discuss about the motion of center of mass motion means its velocity its acceleration and force acting on center of mass so we have know this relation that center of mass position this cm or com i will write for the position vector of center of mass this we have read it is given by m1 r1 plus m2 r2 for n particle system in this way we have read earlier upon this m1 plus m2 plus mn okay all the n particle n particles addition this denominator is a total mass we have read how to find the velocity of center of mass you know velocity rate of change of displacement so if you write here velocity of center of mass it is also vector then how will you write differentiate the first equation this one then you will write dr by dt then you can write here this also individual particle dr1 by dt plus m2 dr2 by dt dash dash this is mn drn by dt upon this total mass again m1 plus m2 plus dash 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 mn okay this dr by dt is also called velocity so these will be the velocities of individual particles that is you can also write this as m1 v1 plus m2 v2 where v1 v2 are the particles of velocities of individual particles upon this m1 plus m2 plus this mn what about the acceleration again you have to differentiate so what is acceleration of center of mass you will find this dv center of mass upon this dt or you can write this d2r center of mass upon dt so what will you write here this double differentiation it will be equal to this m2 d2r vector upon dt2 plus this is m1 this is r1 plus m2 d2r2 upon dt2 and so on so in the same way till the nth particle you write the same expression and what are these double differentiations these are the accelerations this is m1 plus m2 plus dash dash mn what i mean to say this is the total mass this is the acceleration if you write here this m1 plus m2 plus mn into this acceleration of center of mass what will you get here this m1 a1 i am writing here this is a velocity acceleration of first particle this m2 a2 plus dash 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 mn a n so this is the total mass so what will be the total mass of the system you can write with the m then m into a center of mass will be equal to m1 a1 or you can write here the x the forces acting on the individual particle because m into a is the force what is important to note down here that we have discussed in the previous chapters regarding the force f equal to ma also we assumed that the whole object is like the single particle object here so many particles look n particles and the forces on their vector sum is equal to the 
total mass of the system or the mass of the object and whose acceleration acceleration is the center of mass this expression is very important and how to use it how to apply it what are the important point points to keep in mind these f1 f2 which you are looking here you can write here this is f1 plus this is f2 this is fn they are not the single forces look if you write the two particle system i am showing here how so if you take the two particle system like this i am showing here suppose this is the x and y axis this is the first particle position vector m1 and this is m2 this is r1 this is r2 okay two force forces of interaction internal forces this will be f12 and this will be f21 on each other as per newton's third law let a force acting on the first object is f1 external and on the second mass is f2 external okay then what is this f1 and f2 for the two particles look what will be this f1 will be this f12 plus f1 external similarly for f2 you will write this will be f21 plus f2 external the vector sum not only this directly this is the vector sum i am making the vector what will be the f1 plus f2 look here this will be sum of these two in which these two will add to be zero why because f12 is equal and opposite of f21 newton's third law internal forces contribution is zero so this will be only this f1 external plus f2 external what i mean to say that in determining the center of mass the role of internal forces did not to be specified there is no role no need of dis discussing the internal forces in the particles of the system secondly no need of specification regarding the nature of the system of the particles if the system is made of so many particles then no role of internal forces for the net force on the system and how the center of mass is decided only using this equation m into a center of mass equal to vector sum of the forces on individual particles also the body or the system of particles may have translational motion may have translational plus rotational motion both but its center of mass will move will follow only this expression m a c m equal to this f1 plus f2 plus fn okay for example if you see here that f external is zero then these are the external forces you can write here this f external then this f external is you have written here this m a c m if f external is zero external force on the system is zero what does it mean look here a center of mass will be zero what will you conclude from this relation will these a1 a2 of the individual particles acceleration zero think this is the vector sum so a1 a2 all the accelerations of individual particles their vector sum will be zero not the a1 a2 individually zero maybe a1 a2 have some values so here it doesn't mean that a1 equal to 0 a2 equal to 0 and so on again 
if a center of mass is zero if you know if the acceleration is zero what does it mean velocity is center constant. of mass velocity constant means velocity of center of mass is given by this expression what does it mean that individual particles velocity is also constant no individual particles velocity may have any value and the vector sum of the velocities in this expression v1 v2 in this expression the vector sum will be constant not the individual one you will see in the uh, numerical examples what the expression we got m a center of mass equal to f external the center of mass motion is governed by only this e expression here the mass m is the mass of the all particles of the system or the whole rigid body whatever be the acceleration of center of mass is multiplied by the all the particles mass which are situated supposed to be at the center of mass is equal to the net external force the very good example of this equation is i am going to explain with the help of projectile we can see that there is a projectile which explodes in the air okay this is the path of projectile if you find that the projectile explodes here into the fragments the explosion is due to the internal forces and what i discussed uh, here that internal forces have no role in the motion of center of mass so what happens the projectile which explodes here but its center of mass will continue in that parabolic path which started in the beginning its path will not change what is this path of fragments path of center of mass of fragments what i mean to say that if there is no explosion then the path will be this and if there is explosion since it is due to internal force forces and internal force have no role in the motion of center of mass then still after explosion the center of mass would move in the same way because the motion is only under the gravity and there is no external force it before explosion and after explosion the same force force of gravity is here present so if in the y and x axis we see that the explosion takes place in a projectile then center of mass would move in the same direction let us see what is the velocity in center of mass how it is calculated in this question if this is the particle of suppose 1 kg mass and if it has the velocity of 10 meter per second with the 30 degree from the horizontal another particle of the same mass suppose we take 1 kg but it has the velocity in this direction same angle 30 degree and suppose this is 5 meter per second find the velocity of center of mass v center of mass how will you find as velocity is vector you will take the components then for the first one this is 10 then this will be 30 degree so 10 cos 30 and this will be 10 sin 30 here for the second case you will find this is 5 meter per second then this is 5 cos 30 and this is 30 degree and this is 5 sin 30 degree how will you find velocity you have to find the x component of velocity and y component of velocity then resultant how will you find you find this is m1 v1 
in the horizontal direction. So, V1 x1 plus m2 v2 x2 upon this m1 plus m2. Similarly, here m1 v y1 plus m2 v y2 upon m1 plus m2. Note down you have to take the proper care of sign upward plus downward minus. Put here you will get the answer because this 10 sin 30 this will be 5 10 cos 30 10 into root 3 by 2 that is 5 root 3. What do you put here? This v x 1 this will be v x 1 and this will be v x 2. Can you find? You put the value here this v x 1 this is v y 1 this is v y 2. How will you put v y 2 with negative sign? Here you will write with negative sign and you can solve. Should I solve? Okay, I am solving this one. Then you will solve the next one. This is v x. What is m 1? 1. So, 1 into this v x 1. v x 1 is 10 cos 30 that is 5 root 3, root 3 by 2. Okay. Upon this is plus m 2, m 2 is 1 and into what this 5 cos 30. What is 5 here? This is again 5 root 3 by 2 and upon this m 1 plus m 2 that is 2. V y you solve it and you will find this 1 and half that is 3 and half 5 root 3 you will get here 3 by 4 5 root 3. Okay? this is 1 5 root 3 plus 5 root 3 by 2. So, this is 3 by 2 and this 2 3 by 4 5 root 3. What will be v y here? This is 1 into y 1 in the plus. So, this will be 5 10 sin 30 sin 30 is half. So, 5 plus here 1 into what will be here minus 5 sin 30 that is 5 by 2 upon 2 m 1 plus m 2. Now, you will find v x and v y take the vector sum you will find the v c m find the vector sum after solving you will get the resultant. Similarly, if you want to find the acceleration acceleration of center of mass then how will you find look here I am giving the question for acceleration there is a pulley okay, having 1 mass of object A 10 kg and the other mass of object B 20 kg when these masses are the system is released find acceleration of center of mass find acceleration of center of mass when system is released you know first equation this 10 g will be the weight downward and tension in the pulley upward okay then what will you write here for this expression since tension this will go upward. So, you will write 10 my t minus 10 g equal to 10 a if the acceleration is upward here downward. So, you will write 20 g minus t equal to 20 a add these two equations what will you get 10 g equal to if you add this 30 a that means a equal to 1 by 3 g root 10 by 30 1 by 3 g. Now, what will be the acceleration of center of mass? How will you find the acceleration? Look here the acceleration of center of mass will be m 1 a 1 plus m 2 a 2 vector form upon m 1 plus m 2. Then how will you this m 1 is 10 into a 1 g by 3 look this a 1 a 2 both are same g by 3 plus m 2 20 into g by 3 is it correct which is the direction of acceleration this is going downward what will you put here minus g by 3 so I am putting here this minus so keep the attention regarding the direction and m 1 plus m 2 30. So, options will be given in their question that here this minus 10 g by 3 upon 
1030. So, this x, x, uh, answer is this will be 1030, this is g by 9 and downward. Why downward? Because this is minus, minus means downward. In this way, the questions are solved. What about the forces? Look, if there is a positive charge of Q1, another positive charge of Q1, they are held. What will happen? Force of repulsion, this will move in the, have the force in this direction, this is here. You can write here this force as F12 in this direction and this F21 in this direction, okay, here. If this is the question given, how will you find that what can you say about the individual charges velocity and acceleration and net velocity and acceleration of center of mass. Look here, there is no external force here since only the force of repulsion acts. Then what will you say here that F external is 0, it means A center of mass is 0, it means V center of mass is constant. What does it mean that here you can see that A center of mass is 0 does not mean that a1, A2 of these individual charges are 0. Look here, this will have tendency to move in this direction with the increasing velocity. So, there will be the acceleration or not, but center of mass, its acceleration is 0. Why? Because net external force is not acting, no external force is acting. So, what I mean to say, if no external force act on the system, then its acceleration of center of mass will be 0 but not for the individual constituents of the system. So, here A1 and A2, they are non-zero. Similarly, motion of the center of mass, they have tendency to move forward uh, away from each other. So, velocity of center of mass will be constant, but it does not mean that velocity V1 and V2 is constant. This is V1 and V2 both are increasing. Look here, both are having the repulsion force, so both are increasing. So, what I mean to say, if in a system no external force acts, then center of mass, its acceleration is 0, velocity is constant, not individual particles acceleration 0 and velocity constant. So, I hope in this way what is the, how the motion of center of mass is studied, you must have enjoyed it. Thank you.